everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Donna from Donna's DIY. Today we're going to get started on this uh, floor lamp that I did pick up at a thrift store. I have two of them. So if you're interested in seeing how I transform this dark wood into a barn wood look, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay updated on my latest videos. What we're going to do first is we're going to clean it with Amy Howard's Clean Slate. And this gets all the dirt and waxes off of it. Just put it on a rag and just going to wipe it all over. And you want to make sure um, to let it dry before you put your paint on. Okay, so now that we're done um, doing the Amy Howard's uh, green slate on it, what I've done is uh, I ran out of paint, um, my Annie Salone French linen paint, so what I did was I brought it to the hardware store and I matched it and what I did was I mixed it with my BB Frost um, paint transformer and just two scoops, heaping scoops of this tablespoons, it will transform any paint into chalk paint. So that's what I did here. And, uh, you know, this size is only $17 at the hardware store. And this time I'm going to try um, it in the flat color. So, usually I buy semi-gloss, but I'm going to do flat this time. And we're going to paint the whole thing with the French linen. Exactly the same as Annie Sloan's color. What you could also do is take one of these little artist brushes go in these little tiny Okay, so now what we're going to do is um, I went over it with kind of like a, uh, not two coats of the French linen, basically one and a half. You don't have to cover everything perfect because you're going to do some layers. And the next step is this is Annie Salone's uh, chalk paint in Paris Gray, and you're going to water it down. So you're just going to take just a little bit on your brush, and then we want to put some water with it, and we're going to pair some water. I'm just going to dip it in the water, and we'll put it, put it right here, so see how it's like this, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take a rag and um, wipe it off. finish up here and do the rest and then we'll go on to our next step. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, your Annie Sloan chalk paint um, dark wax and we're going to do how we did this last step. We're going to do the same thing but with dark wax. And I like to take the lid and smash it into the brush and then you're just going to drag it on.
I'm going to finish up on the rest of this, but you just drag it all over. Uh, you can't go wrong on how you're applying it. If you put it too heavy, wipe some off. And you could also put clear wax on top of it to um, blend it in. Okay, so now that I put the dark wax all over, um, now at the end is where I rub it all in. I'm going to take my Amy Howard's uh, One Step Paint, and this one's in Bohawk Buff. I'm going to do a dry brush. I'm just going to do it the same as you did all the rest of the steps. Okay, so now we're going to let that dry, and after this dries, I'm going to put some clear wax on it, and then I'm going to go back over it with a watered-down wipe to blend it all together. Okay, so now that we've finished everything, I'm going to put um, clear wax on, and this one is from Amy Howard's home, and it's just a clear wax. You can use any clear wax, it doesn't matter. This is actually one of her brushes. And I've already put it all the way over the whole thing. Take a cloth and here I have an old sock. Just buff it in. is we're going to take a little bit of water and just your chip brush and here I have the Amy Howard one step paint in that Bohawk buff those are those little white marks I did and I'm going to do a watered down coat over the whole thing and the white wax makes it um, this paint repel to where, see it doesn't go all the way in, and that way you could just get like this powdered look and it blends everything in.
this, we're gonna be all done. So here's a close-up of the lamp. Okay, everybody, I'm all done. I think it turned out pretty cool. And once this dries up all day, I will, I mean, it's dry to the touch, but I want it to cure up, and I'll put a clear coat of wax on top of it to seal it, or you could put a clear coat of acrylic matte finish lacquer type stuff on it as well. But I'm just going to do the clear coat of wax, but I'll do that tomorrow. But for now, it's all done. I think it turned out pretty cool the easy way to get that barnwood look. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay updated on my latest videos. Till next time everybody, I'm Donna from Donna's DIY. Bye for now.